Chief Meteorologist for Fox 13 TV News in Memphis, Joey Solopeg, joins us today. He's a member of the National Weather Association and Mensa. He's won two Mid-South Emmy Awards, and locally he's known as the Bowtie Weather Guy. We're always excited to meet a member of the media who's an on-fire Christian. Joey Selipek is such a great guy. He actually came to visit with us here at Shelby today during his vacation. Joey, thanks for coming to talk to us. Glad to be here. All right. Well, why don't we start off by talking a little bit about your background. Who were you close to growing up, and who was it who actually led you into a relationship with Jesus Christ? You know, I was one of those kids whose uh, parents got divorced, and, um, and so often that can go in a bad direction. I was blessed to have extremely Christ-centered grandparents as well as a mom. And my grandparents came alongside my mom here in Memphis to help raise me. And my grandfather really stepped in and filled that male role model, which the boys need. Um, and he was such a tremendous Christian, always a deacon in any church we went to, uh, an old Navy, retired Navy, worked all the time, just hardworking, clean cut, shined his shoes every Sunday, uh, you know, sang at the top of his lungs in church. And he led me to Christ in a Arkansas stream in the mountains. And we just got into the conversation. He explained it to me. I accepted Christ as my savior. And uh, it was just a very, very real and very cool way to, to meet the Lord. Later, you graduated from the University of Memphis with a degree in journalism. So why did you decide to become a TV meteorologist? I love journalism, I love to write. And I didn't really know what direction to take, you know, and so I was really seeking my way um, and as, as seems to be the case in my life God opened some doors and I walked through them and the path just naturally led to meteorology as a add-on to my journalism and once I started studying it and realizing you know what an interesting career this could be it just it all started coming together. Joy, I first met you at the Power Lunch there at Faith Baptist Church in Bartlett, Tennessee, and I heard you say there that you can see God in meteorology and in the weather. Uh, can you explain a little bit what you mean by that? Once you begin studying meteorology through a university or wherever, and you get into the science of how everything works, you begin to see how miraculous the planet is and how it had to have been by design. One degree closer to the sun, we would burn to death. One degree further away from the sun, we'd freeze to death. But Earth is po perfectly positioned, and it's tilted at an angle, at the perfect angle to give us seasons. You know, mathematicians would tell you it's impossible for the things that happen to happen that we have. So it, it, you're, it immediately starts to point to a designer. Here's something most people don't know. You have to have nitrogen in the air to breathe. If there's no nitrogen, we would suffocate. You know how we get nitrogen? Around the globe, every second, there are millions of lightning strikes somewhere. There's always a storm with lightning on the globe. And when lightning strikes and there's that super flash of heated air, that super flash of lightning, which is hotter than the uh, sun's surface, fries the atmosphere, creates nitrogen, which is then brought into the earth through rain because the, the carrying mechanism is there. The plants pick it up and we're able to breathe. I mean, so when you start looking at how our system works, it's pretty astounding. Plus another thing is this, we have an atmosphere that scientists don't understand. Sunlight comes in, heat goes out so we don't cook to death, but water stays within it. So our moisture continues to recycle. It's just, the more you study it, if you have any brain at all, you start to go, this is too miraculous just to have happened. Joey's a Christian in the media. I know you must sometimes face some challenges there at work uh, with a business that's sometimes antagonistic toward Christian principles. How do you deal with those situations? It's difficult. You, you ask a great question that I struggle with daily because I hear things, I hear coworkers, I hear points of view, and it just, it makes my skin crawl and makes my uh, ire rise, you know. But am I supposed to come at them with a sledgehammer to, to, to prove Christianity? And that's, that's not what you're supposed to do. I try to slow down, pray about how to approach things, and hope that my response will lead to somebody at some point going, okay, maybe Christians aren't whacked out, nut jobs. Here's a guy who says he's a Christian, but he's calm, he's lucid, you know, he's not antagonistic, and he always under he always has something to say when asked. Joey, I know that you enjoy uh, attending church with your family. And I heard you at the uh, speech that you gave say you have a pet peeve about men during worship service. Can you explain that? When you go to church, it's to worship. 
You're not doing God a favor. And I, I found myself over my uh, years in the church looking around and getting that, getting that from men who are supposed to be the spiritual leaders. They just seem to disengage during worship services, maybe the most ever during singing. They just don't sing. They're stony faced. And when your heart is trying to reach out and, and connect with Christ, when you're trying to get a part of that electric current, you, you should want to sing out praises. I mean, the Bible is full of the songs we should be singing to Christ and to God. You know, my wife, when I first got married, she said, I can't wait to go to heaven. And I was like, why? Hey, easy. You know, we just, we just met. I don't want you going anywhere yet. She said, because I, I can't sing. She goes, I have a terrible voice. And I, when I get to heaven, I just know God's going to let me sing like an angel. And I said to her, how do you think God views your voice now? because you're worshiping him. He thinks that's beautiful. No matter what the tenor or whether you have vibrato or if your pitch, it doesn't matter. You're praising him and he thinks that's a gorgeous sound. And so she does, she does sing in church and makes me proud. And I wish men would too. I just wish they would. Joey, I saw you on the cover of Memphis Parrot Magazine. Can you explain a little bit about what you talked about in that article? We talked about how we raise our kids. And even though I'm in television and work in TV news, my children don't get to just sit in front of the TV because TV is just one of the world's conduits to pour its programming into your child's brain and into our brain. And so we are very much in tune to being the gatekeepers of what our kids ingest so that we can equip them to deal with the world once we release them out into it. If I don't teach my kids, the world is dying to teach my kids. The world is slavering. Let me teach your children. That's what Satan wants. And so if we're not on, if we're not always focused and hypervigilant, that's the word, hypervigilance, you're going to have major issues because it's so easy to be lazy and say, here, TV, babysit my kids for a few minutes. Here, movies, I'll just drop them off. You go see whatever. And the world and Satan will plant seeds in their brains and you'll have to weed those out for years. So you got to be hypervigilant. It's exhausting, but it's part of being a parent. Joey, it's really great talking to you. Always exciting to meet a Christian who is working in the media. Um, can you tell us uh, if someone wants to learn more about you, maybe read some of your writings, how can they do that? You know, I've, I've got a couple of ways I've been using social media just to kind of talk about life, and, and my views do come through on that. Now, I have to tie that into my news, my weather. So if you go to Facebook, Fox 13 News or Fox 13 Joey Solopec, and I use it kind of as a writing pad to write out thoughts and how to deal with issues. There's also another kind of encapsulated area on our Fox 13 website that is uh, Joey Untied. So they take a lot of my blog posts and put them on there so folks can kind of read them and sound off. All right, I know what you're thinking. Joey Solopec is a great Christian guy. He's smart, he's got a good personality. But can he do a killer Elvis impersonation? Being from Memphis, that's very important. Well, you're about to find out. We'll see you next time on Shelby Podcast Show number 100. Light.